Hi there! This workout should help you strengthen your spine. If you have any issues or medical problems, please consult your physician before performing these exercises. We're gonna work not only back muscles, but also abs and obliques. Let's begin. Get down on the ground, relax, nice and loose. Legs are straight. Pull one of your knees to your chest gently as much as you can and pull it again very slowly and switch your knees other knee up and pull head is on the ground and switch your legs again and pull it now you can move side to side right left very gently and switch your knees and do the same thing on the other side Good, and switch your knees again. And this time, if you're pulling your right knee, pull it slightly to the left. So go across the chest, very gently, good. And again, other foot or other leg. And pull it across. Good, and relax for a second. Now, lift one of your legs as high as you can. If you can, keep it straight, that's awesome. And reach towards your knee or towards your foot. But don't lift your shoulder blades off the ground. And keep it for a sec and switch your feet. And reach. And down. And other foot up. And down. And inhale. And exhale as you're squeezing your muscles. Good, and again, other leg up, and reach, and down, and exhale as you go up, and up, if you can't keep your leg straight, just bend it, and do the same thing, bend your knee, and reach towards your knee, just like that, awesome, and let's do it one more time on each side. very subtle move. Just lift your hips as much as you can and hold it for a second or two. And down. And up. Good. Ladies, this exercise works your glutes as well. So stay in it. And hold it for a bit. Don't forget to breathe. So inhale and exhale as you go up and hold. Nice. And again, relax your neck, relax your shoulders, good, and let's do it five more times, down, and four, and down, and up again, three, and hold, down, Let's do it one more time. And relax. Very good. Okay, get on your stomach. Get on your elbows. We're gonna do plank. All right, beginners, get on your knees. So you have to come up on your knees and hold like this. If you can, get on your toes and hold this position. But try to keep your body aligned. So your back, your legs, and your head should be in one straight line. So drop your hips down if you can and hold if you can drop to your knees or come up and hold it okay don't forget to breathe and inhale and exhale very good look right in front of you on the floor not too high okay very good check your hips if they're not too high or not too low but usually they're high Okay, and we have 10 more seconds, so hold with me. Very good. Inhale and exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and stretch if you have to. 
Inhale and exhale. Get on your side. Get on your elbow. Elbow should be directly under your shoulder. Feet are, your legs are straight. You can put feet, both of them, on top of another or stagger them a little. Beginners, you can bend your knee, the one below, and just for your support, okay? It's gonna be much easier. And just lift yourself up and down or try to keep your legs straight. It's gonna be much harder, but let's do it together. And up and down. So your hip goes up and down and your shoulder also go up okay don't swing don't lean forward backward this is just one unit nice and up and breathe inhale and exhale and up again and hold for a second or two and down and let's do it three more times and one this time stay up and hold good and breathe don't hold the air very nice three two one down awesome switch your sides exactly same thing on the other side so elbow down under your shoulder feet together or staggered or bend your knee if you have to other hand on your hip and up and down and hip goes up and down and breathe very nice and exhale as you go up remember the shoulder stays up try to think shoot it up Gonna help you. All right, and let's do five more times. And four. Don't swing your body. And three, and hold. And two. Bend your knee if you have to for additional support. And let's do it one more time and hold. Nice. Stay in it and breathe. Inhale and exhale. And five, four, three, two, one, down. Nice. Inhale, and as you exhale, get on your stomach. So your legs are straight behind you. Now put your hands um, by your shoulders on the ground and lift yourself up a little bit, just a touch. Don't go too high, okay? And down. And up and look straight ahead and down and inhale and exhale as you go up nice and this time some of you can try to extend your hands in front of you and hold them right back good and down and up don't go too high and down and again up and down now try to lift your legs Okay, so your arms and your feet are off the ground, down and up and exhale as you go up. Don't go too high. And if this is too hard, put your hands by your chest on the ground. And do the thing that we did in the beginning. And up and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Nice. Okay, get on your knees, palms on the ground. Okay, and from this position, try to extend one of your arms in front of you and opposite leg out. Okay, and down. And same thing on the other side. Other hand goes up and opposite leg. And down, nice. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. You don't have to keep it straight, just lift it as much as you can. Beautiful. And switch. And down. And up. And switch. And exhale. And down. Inhale and exhale. And hold. 
Nice work. Do your best. Do it at your own pace. Okay? And relax your neck. Very important. And don't sink your hips. I don't know how to say it. Just try to keep your back straight. That's a good rule. And let's do it two more times on each side. And inhale down and exhale up. Nice. And switch. And hold it. Down and up. And down. Okay, now we can stretch. So extend your arms in front of you. Drop your hips, inhale, very deep, exhale, and drop your head down, and inhale again, deep inhale, and hold your breath for a second, and exhale, and inhale again, imagine that your rib cage is stretching, hold the air, and very slow exhale. Nice work, everyone. Remember, these exercises shouldn't be painful. If you feel some sort of pain, stop immediately. Also, be patient. Allow several weeks before you start noticing differences. Also, you can combine this workout with some cardio exercises. If you're a beginner, go outside and walk a couple times a week for 20, 30 minutes. If you get stronger, you can try running or biking or do some other activities. Okay, remember, do it carefully and don't overdo it. If you feel pain, stop immediately. Thank you for watching and good luck.